Okay, we're live. Hey, I've I've been here since four forty-five. I'm. <laughs> it's time for Hero to meet Grandpa. Hello, and welcome to Not Pack Tactics. Although one might think it is, because that particular game is full of kobolds, and this one apparently will be as well. No, this is a game called Critical Knowledge. It is a fifth edition homebrew Dungeons and Dragons campaign. My name is Crash. I will be your DM for this evening. It has been a very long time since we got to have a game for reasons that have nothing to do with Dungeons and Dragons, but now we are back, apparently. And tonight I am joined by a bunch of awesome people, including Ellie, April, Hi. Matt, and Millie. Yo. What? Yo. Do I get to be grandpa yet? <laughs> so, would anyone like to share? Uh, don't everyone go first, but would anyone like to share <laughs> what happened last time? Uh, Matt? Matt, would you like to share what happened last time? Got it. Okay. April, <laughs> would you like to share what happened last time? No, it's cool. Okay. Ellie, you weren't here last time, but would you like to share your guess on what happened last time? We all had a very exciting night. And we found a door that had some cobalt faces on it. And someone tried to open it, and then there was a grandpa on the other side, and he was a kobold. And he said, oh, okay, you can come in. And then we all started to come in, and I think that is what Hero is very excited about. Although being not particularly excited about anything, I might be a bad judge of that. Hero, is there anything you'd like to add? Okay, okay, also, we bought a bunch of things, and it was like, pew, 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 and some of us almost, like, died. But then also, Grandpa was like, just hold on a second, we're gonna open the door. And then we were trying to, um, we're defending ourselves, and then finally he was like, oh, snap, y'all aren't doing very good. And then he was like, pew, pew, pew. And then we got through the door, and then we went on this teleportation thing, and we went, pew, and then we're going to place. Okay. There's I only a little bit of that. All of I was not familiar with all of the lasers that happened during... Well, I actually the have a laser war. gun now, so, um... I believe its correct terminology is the laser pointer of doom. Mm-hmm. The l -pod. Yes. And technically speaking, none of you did any teleporting. You had oh. to run your way here. Monty was apparently on the moon when you oh, first encountered him. Was. He was telecommuting. Was... Okay, that's why I remember the word tele... Yeah, and he and, was like, how y'all doing? And we're like, we're fine, except for the elbow's death. And he was like, okay. Yeah, and we realized he were having a bit of a hard time. Like, death saves were happening. He decided he was going to come down and help you. I mean, if there were Monty some issues up on the, the moon. Only one, if he accepted. Monty was the only one mooning, can I put my pants back on? <laughs> also. Um, I would very much appreciate um, it if you did, yes. Um, he now accepts that I call him Grandpa. I mean, well... Technically, I am one, so... Yeah, so you're my grandpa. Okay, let's go. Well, I'm not yours, specifically. You're like... You're the, you poor child. So, grandpa... <laughs> and Monty does, like, hand motions to show that he is a certain height, and Hero is a different height. That is, one could argue, possibly two Montys. Yeah, it's good for him. I mean, uh, I know I there's the stereotype that older people are shorter, but that's a, that's a little extreme, don't you think? No. Hero calls a dwarf dad. This is the natural progression. Okay. I wish I could say that you are the strangest individuals I have ever encountered, but <laughs> this is just not the case. I live in a cobalt warren. Hmm. So, at this point, by the way, you have all had a long rest. Now, it wasn't necessarily on beds your size, uh, because this whole area was built and maintained by cobalt. So, everything is cobalt-sized. But they were able to create accommodations for those of you who are, shall we say, taller than cobalts. And I'm going to guess that for some reason, Hero spent the night on top of a stack of boxes over in the corner. Yeah, curl up in a ball. 
He put one pillow on the top of the boxes because, you know, he started to like pillows, but, you know. With just one foot hanging over the edge with toe beans visible. Well, duh. And then the tail twitching and, like, uh, skirting over the top of the cobalt heads. Okay. Well, you have your long rest because, let's face it, after the last session, you needed a long rest. Thank you. (laughs) And no one was going to disagree that you needed a long rest, especially not Monty. But he does come to see you after about roughly eight hours, since that is a long rest amount of time. And he says, okay, well, who wants breakfast? Yes. Yes! All right, Monty, well... I do not suppose you know a spell called scratching. I do not. I know a few spells that assist with the destruction of scratching posts, but I don't think that's what you have in mind. I do too, and I take my claws out. <clears throat> My, those do look fearsome. Well, in any case, there is, um... No, now that I bring this up, this might be a slight issue. The issue is not the fare. Cobalt food is actually, I'm told, quite palatable by non-cobalts. Especially since a few years ago we had an influx of bacon-themed recipes. An extremely large number of bacon-themed recipes. Not judging there. I, I enjoy them myself. But it occurs to me that the location I'm planning on taking you is, in fact, run, staffed by, and mostly caters to kobolds, as one would expect. And you are all not kobolds. This, this isn't a problem for us, Mind you, we've had non kobolds down here before. It's rare, but it happens. You'll you'll draw a few side eye glances, but you know nothing too out of the way. Just be prepared for um, unusual behavior. And as I'm saying this, I realize that Hero is a member of your party. This is true. I get to make friends. Blue fur. I've been getting weird looks all my life. I get to make friends. Everyone always stares at me, so that's nothing new. Well, it'd be delightful if you made some friends, sure. <gasps> Dad, can anyway, I be friends with them? Anyway, let's go get some breakfast. And Monty leads you out into the main thoroughfare. Can I climb his shoulder? Um, you can make the attempt. What do I roll? I w- <laughs> I'm going to argue it would be... Is it athletics or acrobatics? On one hand, there's not a whole lot of Monty, but on the other hand, he's very low to the ground, so that makes it easier, so that cancels out a few things. <laughs> um, just give me a straight-up dexterity check. No, I wanted one or the other. <laughs> no, I'm going with dexterity. And I'm going to roll a strength check for Monty. Okay, I got an 18. You successfully climb up Monty, which for a seven foot tall tabaxi versus a slightly higher than three foot kobold (laughs) is more of a step than a climb, but you do step up onto Monty's shoulder. Monty continues to walk. Yay! Because I rolled very well for the strength check. You wouldn't think I'd roll well for a kobold strength check, but that's still a 20 sided die I'm rolling. There are higher numbers on there. Yep. Dad! Why can't you carry me like Grandpa does? Well, he's not here. Father! Why can't you carry me like Grandpa does? To be fair, this is very awkward. (laughs) (laughs) Also, could you not wrap your tail around my eyes? Okay. I need those. Fine. Okay. And as you're going down the main thoroughfare, it is... A shift change, perhaps? Kobolds live underground, so therefore they don't necessarily have to go with a day-night cycle if they don't want to. But there do seem to be kobolds that are either heading home from wherever they were or heading to wherever they intend to spend their working hours. And there is a very large percentage of them that are wearing goggles. Most of the goggle designs are unique. Some of them look like binoculars strapped to a face. Kobolds have very large noses, so this is something that can be supported, as opposed to like trying to do that for a human or a gnome. Uh, some of them look like they have extra lenses that are held out on little 
bits of wire that they can bend in front of the main lenses and pull them away again. There's a few of them that look like they're wearing welding goggles. They're having a hard time navigating their way down the hallway. A few of them are bumping into walls. But yeah, a lot of them are wearing fancy things on their faces. Can I have a fancy thing on my face? Well, there are a few people who are making and selling them. So that's something we could go shopping for later, I guess. It's... My my head swivels around to father. Do you have coin? They have wear. <laughs> um, dad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but also thank you for that reference. <laughs> Xanthus has inspiration. <laughs> oh, of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have a tabaxi in the party. It was only a matter of time before we had a Khajiit reference. Of course. <laughs> Don't make me bring Mike the liar into this. I always forget because I always download the mod that makes it so all speak as Khajiit speak because I always play as a Khajiit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Apparently there is a mod that give Khajiit more human-like faces and it's... No, I... I saw images of it once, and I was like, no, no, I'm not getting that. That is... No, thank you. Th there's an uncanny valley there, and it's more uncanny than valley. No. <laughs> oh. Just something about the facial structure. It, it was, it was, the, it was the, the new Cats movie. Oh, gosh, mm. no. Let's move yes. on. Yes. <laughs> so, moving on, uh, Monty leads you to a door that Hero unfortunately needs to get off Monty's shoulder in order for oh, the party to go through. I, I know. is the... very dramatically. All right. Well, that means more bacon for me. Okay. And Monty no, I, I leaves going. you on the ground I and walks in. Off. <laughs> yeah, Mo <laughs> that's Monty's reaction to you doing this. Monty leaves you on the ground in the middle of this hallway. No, like, oh, sorry. I think I used my words wrong. I meant, like, I stepped down because, you know, it's literally like a step stool for me. <laughs> I like step down and just shrug like ah, and then keep walking with like my head back in like that annoying defiant teenager way. If you walk with your head back, I guarantee you, you cannot make your way through this doorway. <laughs> We're going down the street. You low. are seven feet tall. If you are arching your neck so your head can go back, you will be too high up because your uh. waist does not bend that way. <laughs> What if I'm actually amazing at limbo? I mean, if you bend backwards so far that you are actually on all fours with your back facing the ground, you could attempt to limbo under the door. I will not require a roll for it. I am going to limbo through the door. Okay, you Sounds limbo unhealthy. through the door that most people are able to just walk through normally because even though this was built for kobolds, the door has a few feet on it. So yeah, even do they have seven? <laughs> not seven, not yeah, so seven. I have to limbo but anyway, I, I, to... I will say that Nix with Nix's um, head ornamentation. Let's describe it that way. Nix does not have to duck. Yeah, but <laughs> just let me have this. I mean, you have it. I don't know what you have. And I don't know what I'm looking at. Wow, that's impressive. That, that's a gif. That is a gif that you have shared of someone with limbo skills that someone well, worked hard to thought. achieve. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack go under the limbo stick. Okay. Anyway. So th this is a thing that has occurred. And you are in what appears to be, imagine if you will, a saloon run by kobolds. Is there a spittoon? Yes. Yes, there Dance! is. Clearly a spittoon. Yes. It's sitting over there in the corner. No one seems to be using it. Mm. So uh, every week or so, the kobolds here come up with a new fad. This week it's goggles because a few engineers came down from the moon. And so now everyone wants a pair of goggles, even if most of them don't work. And as soon as Monty says this, you hear a crash from the far side of the saloon as one of the welding mask wearing kobolds knocks over a table that other kobolds were eating at. Sorry, sorry. Didn't see it there. Yeah. Uh well, a few months ago the fad was saloons and stuff like this and 
people wearing spurs on their boots, even though most kobolds don't wear boots, and we don't ride horses, so we don't need spurs. We do have sheep races! Yes, yes, we do have sheep races, but the spurs don't go through the wool of the sheep. But point is, every now and then they latch onto something that they think is neat, and this happens. Well, it takes a lot of work to rebuild an establishment, so they've been leaving this as a saloon. So that's why it's a saloon. I don't know why I'm spending this much time explaining it. Uh, we can go up to the bar and order breakfast. Yay. Actually, we put a buffet there? in last week. Oh, a buffet. What's that pot there? Um, I don't know, but it smells horrible. That's a spittoon. What's a spittoon? You spit in it. That I spit sounds, on my fur. That <laughs> sounds incredibly disgusting. Uh-huh. I spit on my fur. That was not as disgusting. I wonder what's still up it. there. Uh, well, I searched anytime. the spittoon. How do you search the spittoon? First I Therefore. shake it, and then I stick my hand in it. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> this this is, by the way, for anyone who has not played West of Loathing, this is right out of West of Loathing. This is why Millie is choosing to do this to us. It is a reference to a video game. <laughs> Give me an investigation check. Twelve. You, When you shake it, you are fairly certain that there is nothing of any redeeming quality inside the spittoon. Absolutely yeah. nothing. The only contents of the spittoon are things that kobolds, whose only opinion of whether or not something is edible or not is whether or not it was talking. They don't eat talking meat. They'll eat anything else. And kobolds decided that something in their mouth was even worse than what a kobold would eat. So they deposited it in this thing that you are now sloshing around in your hands. I would like to pull out an arrow and stick it in and see if it hits anything. It hits the bottom of the spittoon. Okay, then I'm done. And you now have one poisoned arrow. Yes! <laughs> the arrow fails its saving throw. You have now killed an arrow with poison. It's good for it. <laughs> you thought I meant venomous arrow. No. Poisoned. <laughs> Not quite the same thing. All right. And you are, in fact, able to have... A delightful breakfast, buffet style, so you can fill your plates with whatever you want. Monty pays for you. Wow. I mean, when you're a rogue for a couple centuries, you do amass a, a bit of a stockpile. <laughs> Just saying. Of all legitimately sourced income that was just lying there unclaimed. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Right. So, everyone had a good meal? Yes, it was very mm -hmm. tasty. Thank you. Okay. Well, I suppose we should have a discussion about what happened yesterday. Yes, please. Okay. Let's go have that discussion. And Monty walks out of the saloon. I'd like to limbo through all the doors again. Okay. So Monty's walking down the hallway like a normal civilized kobold. The rest of you are walking down the hallway like normal civilized gnomes. <laughs> Tieflings, dwarves, and one human. <laughs> and we have Hero limboing under every slightly lower thing that could have possibly considered an object or obstacle. Yeah. yeah. All right. And as you're walking, Monty gives you uh, some information. So after that little incident, which you encountered yesterday, uh, Obviously, I let you in. We gave you a place to rest up and heal. That wasn't the only attempt. There have been three or four more attacks. But the last one was like four hours ago. Hasn't been any since. So either they're building up strength or they decided it was a bad idea to try to attack the Cobalt Warrant, which is exactly what I wanted them to think. In any case, I'd like you to meet my new friend. And Monty opens the door. You go through, and there are more kobolds in here with goggles, but these kobolds look like they're wearing the goggles for reasons other than fashion. You just get the sense that maybe if a kobold is also wearing a lab coat and carrying a clipboard, that perhaps the goggles go with the rest of it and their job description, as opposed to, these look neat, I'm going to wear them. But that's probably not what's drawing your attention 
because there's also what appears to be an upside down fishbowl, a very large fishbowl, one that could say hold a medium sized creature uh, with that a bunch a big of fishbowl. Yes. Well, I'm I'm referring to the shape of it as opposed to its function. Also, ah. it's upside down, so you wouldn't be putting fish in it anyway. All the water would leak out. Also, those electrodes that are attached to the outside of the fishbowl in various spots look like it might make that fish's stay in the fishbowl be more of a broiling experience if you did, in fact, fill it with water. It's not a fish inside of it. It is a ghost, a ghost of what appears to be a very angry elf woman. Is this the ghost of Christmas past? Oh, I hope not. Me too. Also, I don't know what Christmas is. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we do the thing where there is a there's a smash cut or a jump cut. We see a clock on the wall that was at one time, and now we see a clock on the wall is showing like several hours later. And Mike is like, "That is a very detailed description of a brand new holiday, and this is information that is in my brain now." Thank you. Yeah, play on it. You want to see it? <laughs> He I will point just out. Told you the whole play. Yeah, it's it's several <laughs> hours later. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the the angry ghost of an elf lady has attempted to float through this glass bowl shape <laughs> multiple times and keeps bouncing off of it in various angles. I also want it to be known that I redid the cow part like five times because that was my most important role. In my head canon, you didn't redo it immediately. Like you went back to it and told it a different way over the course yes! of this. Yeah, exactly. Each time I, I focus on a different one of my personality traits. And for the record, I don't know how the rest of you acted for this, but Monty smiled and nodded throughout it. Well, you're assuming that was a smile. Cobalt faces are yeah. weird. Grandpa. They are. He, he did look attentive. Right. So... Now that we've spent the time doing that, I caught a ghost. <laughs> cool. And you didn't have a whole lot to tell me about where all these undead were coming from, but I thought that maybe this ghost might have some ideas. And I figured you might want to be around to help with the interview process. Uh, can I be its friend? That really depends on <laughs> how well you two interact. I mean, friendship isn't a one-way street. What? Well, it's not. If one person's giving and the other person's just taking, that's not a friendship. What? <laughs> I don't get it. I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't quite get, get it either. It. These are these are things that my daughter tells me. I just smile and nod for the most part. Okay, good. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa gives you a, a, a dollar. Yes. Granted, dollars are not legal currency <laughs> in this campaign yeah. setting. So this I dollar know. is totally useless unless you can arrive on the material plane of this world, Earth. And if Hero does that, we are doomed. <laughs> Certainly. So um, I have been assured, and Monty looks over at the kobolds and lab coats and goggles, and they look at him and then they slowly nod. Okay. I have been assured that... One, this particular ghost is all screamed out. And two, if it isn't, it shouldn't affect us through whatever this thing is. And Monty goes and taps the fishbowl and then pulls his hand back quickly like he got a zap. Wouldn't recommend tapping the glass. Hero, pay attention. It distracts the banshee when you do that. Bad idea. I am vibrating, but doing my best. (laughs) We've had some experience with those shocks, haven't we? Or something similar. I don't like getting shocked. No, but it's one of the most really cool. But no. <laughs> I imagine it does bad things for the fur. Yeah, I don't like it getting burned either, but we do what we can. All right. Well, I have found that I personally am not always good at, shall we say, friendly negotiations so i wouldn't mind if any of you decided to take the lead on this but um can can she hear us not yet okay well kind of hard to do the whole interview interrogation intimidation what whatever word we're using here if she can't hear us so if you could 
you know, press the button or it's a dial. Whatever. Just do the thing. <laughs> Doing the thing. All right. She should be able to hear you now. Hi, I'm Hero. What's your name? She screams at you. <laughs> it, That's it a good does, name. <laughs> it does absolutely nothing, by the way, game mechanics wise. It's not even the scream that would be considered an intimidation role. It's a scream of, I am trapped in here and don't like it. Ah, that's a good name. Um, so what's your favorite color? You get another scream. That's my favorite color, too. And she bounces um, off the walls a few more times. Ooh. So anyway, do you want to hear about Christmas? She just glares at you. I can tell you about the miracle of Christmas. So... I was a cow once for a play. I'm going to say that we have the clock move forward the same number of hours as before. <laughs> so at this point, we are now, I, I, let's say it's about four hours after you've had breakfast. And you have, heard, you have heard the Charlie Brown Christmas special told no fewer than eight different ways. <laughs> so anyways, what was your favorite part of the play? screams <laughs> you know this isn't a very fun conversation i imagine that like we could go run around outside or you could go home or something once you tell us what's going on but i'm just trying to be friendly here i just want us to talk so we can let you out faster without us having to get angry at each other i cannot go home <laughs> You can't go home? Why not? That's so sad. I am bound. It is my duty, my command to destroy you. And why me? I also, you have said duty. failed. You said duty. You <laughs> are very infuriating. Has anyone told you that before? Every <laughs> I'd like to go on the record that I have not told him that. I may have been thinking it very loud, but what? <laughs> yeah. Every day. Says, Join the club. <laughs> Every day. But I learned not to let it get me down because I got friends. And friendship is magic, I've been told. That's, that's right. <laughs> So, Mostly by warlocks. It's a long you know, story. Also, you're not the first person who has been like, I'm going to attack you. And then has been like, whoopsie, I failed. Last one became one of my aunts. She gave me a she gave me my laser pointer of doom. Pew! And also, she's an angel. So that was a really fun time. Um, she also tried to kill me while I was sleeping once. That was an adventure. Anyway, so... Like it's nothing I new. I mean, don't feel bad. That angel. Yeah, she gave me my laser pointer of doom. You because... will probably not see her again. Oh, that'd be sad. She was nice sometimes. She also took away my 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 skeleton hand that I called I called my touchy two, um, and testy two, and then she gave me a stick instead. By the way, as a DM. <laughs> I'm just loving the fact that you have pretty much left negotiation to the seven foot tall tabaxi child with ADD. Yeah. Well, if nothing can, it, I mean, the banshee, the banshee has eventually going to, you know, it's going to crack. It's yeah. Going to crack. I mean, in one aspect, it's an interrogation, you know, or torture. That's what your point of view. This is the and equivalent of just like playing the rock music at maximum volume, waiting for the person to surrender. Yes, exactly. Now, the problem is that the Banshee is undead and can actually doesn't require sleep, food, or air. So, Well, the not around. requiring sleep is, I think, part of the yeah. torture process at this point because she can't tune Millie. Well, not Millie. Hero. There is no hero. Millie, only hero. You can't tune her out. Can't tune no. her out. That's right. No. So, yeah. So, like... Like, I get it. I mean, it sucks that you failed, but, like, I fail all the time. It's okay. It is not okay. What are you, My Chemical Romance? Like, calm down. It's fine. <laughs> you are yeah. indeed a restless spirit. Is How is it maybe, how is it we might put you to rest, oh, wailing one? 
Let me out, and I will show you. You know, I really much like that dying. Once. Uh, what's your name, by the way? Because I don't like calling you Wailing One. Like, what's your name? She glares at Hero for a moment without, like, when when she was responding to Xanthus, she turned to Xanthus. And when Hero says that, she doesn't turn to go back to face Hero. <laughs> but she just looks in Hero's direction, just swiveling. You, you assume swiveling her eyes. It's hard to tell. She is spectral. Carlina. Like that name. Okay, that's better than ah, ah, which is what I was had in my head before. I don't think that's a very good name. So Carlina. Okay. Um, did like somebody t- who like told you you had to kill me? Because like I didn't think I was annoying too many people. I mean, sure, I accidentally fought a bunch of people underground once, but like, but like I've been doing better. So like, I, I, like who told you you had to kill me? I was working with people. I am bound by Palea Void Bonded. Mm. You know, I don't like being bound very much because, you know, that's not really kind of my people thing. We kind of like running around and I've been on this adventure for the past few years because all these people kept chasing me because they wanted my magic daggers. But anyways, now that I finally got my laser pointer of doom, I was kind of hoping that I would stop having to play hide and seek with everyone. But then you're back and we're playing tag again. And you know what? It's just... I think I understand what my mom meant when she told me that it was good sometimes to rest because now that now I don't really want to have to keep running. So can we stop running? You would make a good banshee, I think. <laughs> I believe she gave you a compliment. <laughs> it was not <laughs> meant as such. No, I didn't but think you... it was. <laughs> That's cool. I don't think I would be good at the screaming all the time thing, though, because, like, ah, I, like that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Palea Void Bonded has decided that she would prefer to not be laid to rest, so she has decided to take back that which is hers. Like, are you talking about those things that they said had the spooky spirit inside? Spooky, scary skeletons. There are no skeletons involved here. What was that thing they said was in it? cannot exist in this land. There are wards in What about inside my body? Are you saying I don't have a skeleton inside my body? If I say (laughs) yes, will you cease? No. Um, there is no good answer to that question. (laughs) If I say no, will you cease? No. She is endless, much like yourself. Anyway, so, um, what was that monster that was inside all our things that had the phylacteries, the, the, the lich? Is this, are we talking about the lichy thing? Void bonded is a lich, yes. Oh, see, look, it's real. So, um, anyways, I don't got mine anymore. So, I don't know. I don't know why you're after me. No, they're after. She was after the rest of us. Yeah, but the she said me. Was not given, but you do seem to be the most annoying <laughs> right now. Oh, it's good. She's made it personal. Time. You. <laughs> Are uh, what could be considered a target of opportunity. You're also I'm an opportunity. Oh my god, that's a good I'm way so to look at it. I suppose. <laughs> so excited. And considering that you, as a group, have already doomed one of Palea's allies to eternal sleep, more or um, less. I would like to now jump... Oh, wait, no, I don't want to touch the glass. I almost said I wanted to sit on the glass. I mean, you totally can. I'll let you. <laughs> but it'll hurt. It, but it'll, it'll hurt. I know. I and, won't do and it. And the I lesson might know. be learned. No, no. No, no. Um, so, no, I won't. But anyways, I'll be like, well, okay. But anyways, so we got a name. His name is Palea. And also, I did my job. Bye. <laughs> Who is the one that we laid to rest permanently? The Banshee just grins at you. Mm. Mm. We have a name that is true. 
I do not know how to spell the name as a player, but I, have, I wrote if, it down. If I only I could copy spell. paste. Yeah. I, I don't know how to spell the name as a. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I misread okay. that the first time. I don't know how to and, spell. And the I might have mispronounced it a couple times because I'm trying to do the character voice, but yeah, Palela. Swore it sounded like pa- Palelia. Palelia. Pal- I, I I created it not thinking this is going to be hard for me to say. <laughs> Void bonded. <laughs> Possibly not her original last name. I was about to say that's a really telling last name. Yeah. Yeah, it's you're kind of fated to do certain things with a last name like that. <laughs> like having a, a an evil barbarian named Happy Place. <laughs> <laughs> or say punk dark punker and darkstone. That, that is that that's an odd name. Anyways, um, Hero gets bored and takes a nap in the back. She did. Uh, Xanthus, he did his job. Xanthus will approach closer to the fishbowl. Obviously, not not touching it. You are a undead creature, and you adventure with. And she motions towards where Hero is, t- like going in that circle thing the cats do before they lay down. Yeah. You <laughs> have my pity. I look at it as doing my penance on earth before I go to heaven. <laughs> Not all who serve a higher power are so fortunate. That I may commit sins without repercussion, because I'm already engaging in my penance. You, on the other <laughs> hand, are being punished for your sins. I died sinless. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, but does Hero have inspiration? No. Do I? You do now. Just the idea of Hero almost falling asleep and just yells out that Hero will die sinless. (laughs) I was a priestess. I served well. This form was not something of my design. It was not from my failures. A priestess of whom I wonder. China, I'm going to roll religion to see what Xanthus knows about banshees. They go, ooh! Because I don't, I don't know, and this might be, I don't know if things are different in, in, uh, in this world compared to standard banshees. I don't know if there's any differences here for them. Okay, what's your roll? Uh, oh, I put it in the wrong chat. Uh, Eighteen. Okay. I actually, did the, I actually clicked the button on the screen for a change? <laughs> I usually okay. use the Avery bot. So imagine, if you will, that you have suddenly changed channels to the History Channel, and you're seeing a special on Undead because, well, they ran out of World War II documentaries to show, <laughs> and, and and Hitler biopics and. Yeah. And Ancient Aliens <laughs> is alien. going to be in an hour from now. So you need something to fill right. that time slot. I was about to say, is this the Aliens guy? Please make it the Aliens guy. Well, I'm not going to say it was Aliens, but it was it Banshees. Was Banshees. <laughs> <clears throat> so what Banshees. does Xanthus recall of the Banshees? Banshees are the undead remnants of elves who, blessed with great beauty, failed to use their gift to bring joy to the world. Instead, they used their beauty to corrupt and control <laughs> others. Elves afflicted by the Banshee's curse experience no gladness, feeling only distress in the presence of the living. As the curse takes its toll, their minds and bodies decay until death completes their transformation into undead monsters. So it's oh, quite possible fun. that she believes what she's saying, right. but that's not what happened. Okay. So she was pretty in life, and now she's forced to exist as a horrifying creature. Pretty much. Xanthus is pretty, compare, comparatively speaking. I mean, he is a tiefling, but he does have the 18 charisma. You so said pretty. Yeah, well, handsome, whatever. There was handsome, that time where Xanthus woke up to find pink bows tied all over his hair. No. <laughs> I meant when Crash was like, pretty much. Yeah. I See, I, I see if you... I, Xanthus pretty much looks like Kurt Wagner, in my opinion, just how he looks. And, you know, Kurt. I always thought Kurt was a very handsome guy just despite the blue fur and the yellow eyes and the misshapen hands. <laughs> and if I might use a particular gif from Letterkenny, to be fair, <laughs> in 5th edition, charisma isn't necessarily physical looks, it's force of will. Yes. To be fair. And, well, uh, uh, you must have a strong will when dealing with Hero, 
So, because she is also very strong-willed. Very true. He, I'm sorry, he is also strong-willed. Uh, <laughs> so I am tempered <laughs> my dealings with Hero. Melly, that's what I appreciate about you. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay, we're, we're going to be the Letterkenny fan cast now. <laughs> we'll be talking about who people... walked up to the produce stand one day. I know who I know people who I know a lot of people who've seen it. I have not seen it. It is on Hulu and I do not have Hulu. Yeah. I have only seen the clips that they've put on YouTube because they do have an official Letterkenny YouTube channel. Oh, but it's very funny. It's also very yeah. not appropriate for work. Yeah, yes. I I've I have seen bits here and there and I've clips here and there and it looks really funny. I just don't have the I don't have don't have the service so I can't watch it. All uh, right. Well, with that said, uh You've just Xanthus. gotten this rant from the Banshee yeah. insisting how she met her end. Xanthus is torn. I think a Banshee's kind of above his pay grade. As Hero it were. puts a band-aid on father. <laughs> I thought Hero was sleeping in the corner. Because he's Hero torn. dreams of putting band-aids on father because he's torn. <laughs> I also have some fur, so be careful where you stick that. Uh, not quite Hero's level fur, but I will turn towards Monty and... Uh, she has given us a name and it is something we can now look into. She is a creature of death and dis- and destruction. She should be terminated. Oh, I'm not disagreeing with you, but I figured we'd keep her around long enough to get some information first. Well, we got a name, which is more than we had before. Yes. We got her and... name and we also got her master's day. And that is a very useful piece of information. And contrary yes. to what many people think about kobolds, we have an extensive library. Who's up for some research? That sounds like a job for Millie, or not Millie. Uh... Yeah, Paige isn't here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that sounds like uh, a job for Arepa and Nix. Partway across the continent. Not very far yeah. from here, but still a decent distance across the continent. Paige just perks up and looks around real quick, as birds tend to do. Not realizing why for sure, but thinking that maybe there's some books to read. Books? Books? Kobolds? Kobolds. Feathered. Less feathered. Genku. Murder. Um, <laughs> Professor Page, what does this have to do with the lecture on thermodynamics? Shh. Books. Okay, but you were halfway through describing how to make a trebuchet that launches cookies into a glass of milk and. I know this is on the test next week, so we kind of want to finish. <laughs> bothersome, bothersome. Read hands. The hands are still sign languaging. I mean, I know I need Seeing to take this well course to get my degree, but those hands are very disturbing. But Seeing they well are telling me. from Trebuchet. Okay, let me just show you, and I, I redraw the whole schematic on the board. Okay, but what does the word turf mean? Is that an acronym? <laughs> <laughs> Cut to. Could we let the banshee continue to exist inside its fish bowl? Ah, uh, no, we're going to take care of that. It wants yes. to break free. Yes, if, if allowed to free, be free, it will annihilate anything in its path. We got us. enough super powerful things that can wipe out half the cobalt population here as it is. We're 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 not going to keep this around much longer than we have to. Uh, good. Those? That is good. Very well. So um, you can stick around for that, but you're going to need to wear some ear protection. No, no, no. We'll, we'll head to the library. Okay. I'm going to bed. Then you're going to need some ear protection or you won't be going to bed. Uh, By the way, how is Zeely? Terrifying. Yes. Who's Zeely? That, that is would how be she is the last time I met her too. That would be my daughter. I want to meet her. Well, the last I heard before I came down here was that she was throwing fireballs at cloud giants on the moon, and this is not the strangest sentence I've said this week. I suspect it, it is also busy. not a metaphor. No, no, it is not a metaphor. I want to go to the moon. Father, can you take me to the moon? What was the strangest sentence you said this week? (laughs) 
I'm not going to go into the details, but it did involve gophers and spacesuits. Okay. Nick just while. blinks a few times. Yes, that's exactly how I, that expression on your face right there. That is how I felt when I said the sentence that I'm not going into details for, which I'm only not going into details because then I'm going to have to spend about half an hour explaining most of those details to Hero. Now I know exactly which sentence it was. Do you have glitter crayons? Not on me. Can I see them? I like coloring. The sentence was... Yes, I will star in Caddyshack 2 on the moon. <laughs> no, that was not the... I know those are words that you've said, but the order you've put them in makes no sense to me whatsoever. Can we do Caddyshack next at the, at the, at the playhouse? <laughs> I think... I knew what it was. I'm all right. I'm assuming it has something to do with ramshackle domiciles made by tabaxi based on the words used. But anyway, (laughs) let's go to the library. And we will get to the library in a little bit, but we've been playing for about an hour, so what do you say we take a short break? Yes. Give us a time! All right, we're back. Yo! And you are got, in the library. I got now, glitter crayons. I ain't reading. So, Wait, which library? The Cobalt, the Cobalt Library. Yes, a, a library that a particular Cobalt follower of Agma, God of Knowledge, opened up in Pep, this particular set that, of Cobalt Warns. There are other libraries made by the same Cobalt scattered throughout well as far as this kobold's gone and this kobold happens to be level 19 so she can pretty much go wherever she feels like going (laughs) Uh, although currently she's on the moon but that's another story so for this particular library and remember you are completely underground but still if you've seen the animated version of disney's beauty and the beast You've seen the scene where the beast opens up the doors to the library and it's just multiple levels of books stacked to the ceiling everywhere. Somewhere Xanthus is sobbing. Or not Xanthus, Arya is sobbing. I was going to say, Xanthus is here. (laughs) Yeah, sorry. I was thinking of a different Uh, Xanthus. I I was stacking this Ravenscroft. Well, (laughs) all things considered. I'm coloring in the corner. Well, Ari wouldn't be sobbing because Ari is an ally of the Cobalt, so Ari's welcome here. Ari is probably one of the few non-Cobalts that is often seen here. Probably, actually. Now that I think about it, if yeah. this is the same original Warren that was yeah. in that started in the farm, <laughs> yeah, this is Tonkin this is under the farm. Okay, then yeah, he's probably been here. He's probably donated books, most likely. Uh, in my head canon, there's like Doctor Strange scenes where a portal opens up and Ari's hand comes through and grabs the book and disappears again. Yes, I could see that. <laughs> I <laughs> one, one of the librarians yells, you got to fill out a form first. And then the portal opens up, a filled out form comes through and drops to the ground. <laughs> now, do you have to use a number two or a number three pencil? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Kobolds don't care. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't know whether or not you are going to continue with the West of Loathing references. Number two for the bubbles, number three for the signature. Thank you. Um, so here, here's the or, thing. Those the are col- all actually, real the pencils. Like crayon. <laughs> the, probably just are like, oh, it's in crayon. Neat. There, there are I more did. varieties of pencil than West of Loathing talks about. Yes, I know. So me, with some, as someone with an arts degree, was was like, glaring at the screen as I watched you stream that portion. <laughs> like, what if I, I know it's all meant to be silly, but they're doing it wrong. What if I use a glitter? glitter? There are multiple schools of thought in that regard, and it would depend on which kobold was filing the paperwork. Okay. I don't they... think Hero knows how to read or write besides the, the AOL CD to the forehead. Day one, Hero uses a glitter pen. Day two, 
Hero uses a glitter pen. Day four, everybody uses a glitter pen. <laughs> Day eight, the entire library is glitter. Well, remember that scene I described from Beauty and the Beast. It looked like everything was mm-hmm. covered in gold in that scene. No, no, that that's not gold. That was actually Hero. That, that was, was glitter. Hero. That was glitter. You, you're never getting this out of your fur, yeah. Xanthus. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's precipitation and then there's wish. You're going to need the other one. <laughs> and it might not work. Yes, it will. Miss Stara, goddess of magic, comes down from on high and says, Look, Mm-mm. I got nothing for this. You're you're done. <laughs> you're what, sure. would, what would There's, Sonic the Hedgehog do though? Fat go fast. Yeah. You can't outrun the glitter. It's everywhere already. Wherever you go, it was there before you. I just realized that Hero doesn't have a patron god of any sort. Well, Hero doesn't have religion. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure Hero can focus on something long enough to really have a single patron of anything. That's actually completely honest. Yeah, Hero doesn't have faith in anything but himself and his friends. Hero believes in himself, and really, more of us need to do that. Exactly. Hero Just has complete Maybe not faith the way Hero him. does it. No, nope, more people like Hero. <laughs> nope, that is not a thing I have said, nor will I ever say it. That's what I'm saying. All right, so we have a name. Palelulilu Multipass Void Bonded. Uh, um, I think. I, I wasn't 100% paying attention. One of you wrote it down, right? I, I did. Okay. Oh, wait. Hero does know how to read and write. He made all the signs for the Charlie Brown Christmas Festival. Um, yeah. So this is the part where I'd show off how much I know about the library and how much knowledge is collected here. It's it's not my thing. I thought we'd flag down one of the librarians that's already here. Oh, uh, you there. And he points at a random kobold that is wearing what appears to be a tweed suit. And they see Monty point at them, scream, and run away. I forgot how easily startled they are. Okay. I see that Hero (laughs) has decided to look for the book and has rolled a 22 on an investigation check. Now, here's the thing. I did say this is a library. I did not say this library uses the Dewey Decimal System. Yeah, I don't think Hero knows what a Dewey Decimal is. I don't think Hero knows what a Dewey Decimal is. I'm not entirely certain that the books are organized in a way that is discernible by beings other than the librarians themselves. What the if organization I just, process like, curr- it? <laughs> The organization process currently is the kind that I frequently use of, well, I know where it is. <laughs> So So I'm going to ask you to roll a second investigation check because you are rolling at disadvantage. And if super disadvantage was a thing, I would be having you do that. But it's not in fifth edition, so I'm not. I got a 19. Counterpoint. Dewey Decimal. Dewey ever. (laughs) Okay. Anyways, I got a 19. Okay. (laughs) You have found a book called Baby's First Guide to Liches. It does not appear to have been read very frequently. Lich. L-I-C-H. It doesn't have a lot of words. It does have one page per letter of the Draconic alphabet. And each page features an illustration of a lich and apparently their name. A is for apple, B is for blah, blah, C is for whatever. Yes, imagine that, but just some of the names when said out loud cause physical pain to the hearers. (laughs) I keep reading. (laughs) Okay, well, that's going to keep Hero busy for a few minutes. Let's see if we can find a more informative book. Hey, I got the right genre. Yes, yes, you did. And I'm very proud of you for that. If only any of the books near the one you found had anything to do with liches as well, 
we could use it as a starting point. Unfortunately, this is a cooking book, and the book on the other side of the book you found is Baby's First Primer for the Abyssal Language. Who Ooh. writes these? <laughs> um, I would like that. I, I already picked up Celestial, so I think it's time for me to learn Abyssal, too. Okay, here you go. <laughs> he, hands you, he hands you a book of Baby's First Guide to Abyssal. Because I actually did get to pick a language, and I told Cele- I chose Celestial so I can randomly say swears in front of the angels. But Celestial, so all the swears are like, you bad person. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I'm still going to say it and annoy the heck out of our angel, auntie, whatever her name is. Valid. Valid reason. <laughs> Assuming that angel is still on this plane of reality. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Not so important to hero. <laughs> with that said, there have been other rolls, and it looks like rolling a disadvantage, Zanseth got an 11, which uh, you're not even sure you're right in the right section of the library. I didn't. I figured I'd try to help. I yes. mean, he gets lost on hills, so I don't know. What yeah. Well, this saying. was this wasn't a perception check. This was investigation, and the 11 yeah. is much higher than we normally see from perception checks. Which so is you, one. you are encountering interesting books that possibly mentally you're filing away for later, for thinking, you know, that would be a good read. I'm going to remember where I parked. Um, I Just not do, finding anything useful. Yes, I do see some rolls for Arepa, which I will get to in a little bit because, oh, those are very interesting rolls that we're going to be talking about. Um, and I see a 16 for Nyx, which is unfortunately also not going to be high enough considering the size of the library and the nature of what you're looking for. It's a very high modifier needed. With that said, as you're all looking, you do at one point, as Hero continues to read this entire very poorly conceived children's book out loud (laughs) and might i remind you it is it is illustrated that means i get to know what they look like when we find it so then i know who to look out for most of them look like rotting corpses a few of them look like skeletons well i'm learning (laughs) sadly yes sadly yes (laughs) so right as arepa makes use of the 25, which is the lower of the two rolls. We hear Hero say Palela Void Bonded. P is for Palela Void Bonded. Yay! And there's a picture. What does it look like? Pretty gruesome. Woo! There's still a few scraps of rotting flesh on that body, but not a whole lot. It's a giant testy too! And at this point... <laughs> I'm suspecting that because of how long you've all been members of the party, somehow Arepa is able to file that away under, I will probably have to deal with that eventually if I can't ignore it long enough, and finds a rather large encyclopedic volume about ancient undead beings. And I bring this up because while it's mostly about other beings, there is a section about Pelea Void Bonded. And I'm going to retcon the name to be Pelea because I've been mispronouncing the name I made up the entire time I've been saying it. So I'm just going to change it to what I'm saying. And, uh, and the information inside that volume that Arepa has found is, well, because it's supposed to be showcasing a large number of undead, it doesn't spend a lot of time talking about each one. It is, however, not illustrated. Boo! Which is probably why Hero never noticed it. Also, Hero didn't roll high enough, but never mind about that. But it does say a few bits of information. One, Palea Void Bonded is, like, really old. As in, there is no record of who Palea was. The oldest records we have that are pre-Empire, and those are incredibly hard to find, considering how much the Empire destroyed because the Empire insisted that it had been around forever since the dawn of civilization, 
And if it found anything that disagreed with the empire existing since the dawn of civilization, they tended to destroy that information and anyone who insisted otherwise. Um, but the few sparse things that have been found that still mention Pelea from before then still refer to Pelea as a lich. So Pelea has been a lich for a long, long time. Since before the Circulian Empire, yes, which is in, it's an incredibly long time. L is for the lich we're looking for. A is for something else. I adore L. <laughs> I love this game, and yet I have concerns. <laughs> That's actually what was stuck in my head the whole time, was I was singing that song with Lelena's name. What is actually wrong with me? You that was not had... me pretending to be hero. That was actually me. I would argue it's because you had a long day where you had to explain certain things to certain individuals that you felt you would never have had to explain before. You know, that is very true. <laughs> Believe it me, was... I teach kindergarten. I understand. Mm-hmm. I work in I'm not IT. Talk- I understand. <laughs> I'm not. There have been times where I've had to explain things to adults as well. So I also understand with that. We are all coming from different places and we make certain assumptions. And those assumptions are often wrong. And that's the nicest I can describe it. <laughs> I'm not giving you another know, spittoon. That was a one time thing. <laughs> okay. Um, additional information about uh, Miss Void Bonded was that she was part of a group of liches, not just one. It doesn't give a number. It just refers to them as a group um, who were all of equal age. Are you saying they had like a girl gang of liches? They weren't all AFAB. And really, by the time you become a lich, it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, But it is implied that... The group that Pelea was a part of all became liches at the same time, but this isn't 100% specified. It's hinted at, but there's no proof. Yes. Well, most people who encountered them didn't have a lot of opportunity to ask a lot of detailed questions and then come back to tell the story. (laughs) And that is a very long gif you have posted, Ellie, of somebody using a ladder in, in an orthodox way to achieve something that one could use a ladder for in a more traditional way and do the same thing in less time. <laughs> and I can't look away. <laughs> like, you you keep trying, you keep trying, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> I can't reach it while well, you use the ladder. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for the record, there is a pipe going across a very high ceiling and someone has, like, a cloth or towel draped over the pipe, and the guy is trying to use the ladder to knock the cloth down and eventually manages to do it, but it takes a very long time. Using the ladder as a tool and not as something to climb on. And not as a ladder. Well, it's <laughs> it, it's apparently the ladder equivalent of a testy two. <laughs> it's a testy two, see? I, I like where he has to stop and like hold it for a second because it gets yeah. too heavy. He has to redo it. Yeah, like... I like that this is our D&D game that we're playing right now and we're having this discussion. There's a oh, metaphor yeah. in here for... <laughs> I think at this point, each of us has been that person holding the ladder. <laughs> As the person who runs these games, I think I have been the ladder holder more than the rest of you. So anyway... Because hero you- make the have the conversations... So anyway, you suddenly notice that the middle of this library has an interesting tile decoration. It seems to be the shape of a large green circle. <gasps> no. This is not canon. This is not canon. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, all of a sudden Hero just runs out of the room. No more. Knowledge the, isn't worth it. <laughs> the green circle was mentioned in my other campaign, by the way. The five uh, Quote mentioned, unquote. Yeah. Brought up multiple times. So, hey, you've got some information. And I know what they look like. I'm a visual learner. That is, um... <laughs> you know, I I'm a kobold, as you may have noticed, so what? I'm pretty sure 
the way I was raised is not the way you were all raised. But I would say that for a children's book, <laughs> that is a pretty gruesome illustration. <laughs> you get them ready. Get them to understand reality. And then I go back to coloring. Understand. Also, I next orcs. <laughs> Understand that kobolds are considered adults around six, so we have a very small window of time where children's books are a thing. I grew I up next to orcs. Clear, I just want to make it clear that I have never in my life been reduced to rubble. Thank, thank you. <laughs> okay, Barney. <laughs> okay. Gosh dang it. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yes, there's more than one way to spell the word raised, and there are very different Uh, meanings, and I appreciate the pun. And I am sorry that it had to be explained to me, and somehow it still doesn't make it less funny. Yeah, no, it was it's still hilarious, and yep, it's definitely a sign that I'm I am speepy. Anyways, um I'm a visual learner, and also I grew up next to an orc camp. I there's no such thing as innocence. Anyway, Anyway, Hero goes back to coloring. The person we seem to be seeking appears to be much, much older than any given history of Circulus that we might... All of you are older than the history of Hero. So old. And so we should take great caution in approaching that person. I should ask them to be my friend. Speaking of taking caution when approaching... There is a certain lab coat wearing kobold who stepped through the front doors a few minutes ago and has been idly playing with his goggles. Is there anything that you need to tell us? I feel like Um, someone's trying to force us to have plot. (laughs) Maybe? I'm reasonably certain that wasn't me. You know, if it takes additional questions for us to get to the point, I'm going to be a little upset. Um, Why don't we go find out who this kobold is? Yeah, that's. you should go find out who that kobold is. Definitely not me. <gasps> Sir, Hi, my not... name is Hero. What's your name? Wait, we're supposed to be quiet in libraries. Oh. I, my name is Hero. Oh, What's no. What's your name? Please don't tell me the story of Christmas again. <laughs> <laughs> well, only if you ask. Anyways, is this what's a your kobold that we recognize? They were one of the ones in the room with the banshee. Uh, how is how is how is how is uh, Carlina. Carlina? Well, we were uh, going to, I believe, lay her to rest. Is the correct terminology oh, that's nice. she must be so sleepy yeah uh that <laughs> didn't go as planned it turns it out that it did you know that if you send the right amount of electrical energy through the right combination spit it out the the fishbowl cracked open and she got away <gasps> so Carlina is free to kill me um, um, yeah, that um, is a good thing. yeah, um, uh, um, um, I don't want to die. Last time we went against a banshee, it was really difficult and it hurt a lot. So, um, can we try something different this time? Well, I got good news for you. Uh, she's not here to kill you because when she got loose, she ran away. Well, flew away, floated away. Well, I, I don't, she went away. She went yeah. away very fast. Which direction did she go? Uh, initially up. Well, we are underground, so that makes sense. And the scouts on the surface? Uh, yeah, they saw her. Okay. Which direction did she go when the scouts saw her? That way. They're they're not tunnel dwellers. They have no idea what that means. Oh, uh, I could draw a map? That would be very good. And then we can go banshee hunting. Here's a crayon. Ooh, does this have glitter in it? Yeah! These are so cool! Oh no, they're bonding. (laughs) And on that horrifying note, that's where we're going to end it for tonight. (laughs) With that giggle. (laughs) (laughs) The idea that Hero is in fact making friends with 
chaos lizards. <laughs> Yay! Technically speaking, they're wanted. lawful evil, but we all know that's not how I play them. Yes. All right. So thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you, everyone, for playing. My name has been Crash, and tonight I was joined by a bunch of awesome people, including Ellie, April, Matt, and Millie. Is there anything that anyone wants to plug? Not for me at the moment. I'm just happy to be here. Millie screams. Oh, yeah, I do. (laughs) Sorry. As we've said a few times, it's been a long day for me. Uh, Yeah, I stream at Magical Millie um, on the Twitch. And I stream more often than not in in the evening after I get off of work. And I stream random games. And right now it seems to be... Banjo Tooie and Hades or Hyrule Warriors. The end. But no one's playing Hades or Hyrule Ro- Warriors these days. Oh yeah, absolutely not. Not like they're newish. Anyway. Anyway, we also have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cogwheel Gaming. You can help us keep the lights on, along with other listeners' patrons, including Chris, Ellie, Eric, Janatalok, Mickey, Shanchen, and Walter. And inst- until next time, this is Crash saying Okay, why is it every time something bad happens, someone yells out that there's plot involved? No one's plotting this. It's just bad things happening. Are, are you attributing some higher power to random bad things taking place? Good night, Have everybody. I told you about Christmas? About eight times so far today. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue on with that story. There's something also called Easter. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.